Hello and welcome back to another video on Kerbal Space Program. This is Subscriber Designs Episode 8 and we are starting off with Land Cruiser. So the first design is by Conovus, I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. And this is obviously the Land, Land Cruiser, as I just said. And what you need to do is press number 8 on your keyboard to turn off the front engine here. And this design is essentially a huge rover, that's what you pretty much said it's just a high speed rover and uh, it can carry up to 11 Kerbals that's yeah that's pretty good and this thing is fast I mean if you look closely I'll turn the brakes on but if you look closely look how many wheels there are a little smoggy bays um, these things on the front I'm not too sure what they're for uh, yeah if you press I think it was number 9 on your on your keyboard yeah all these ladders will extend Look how cool this looks. <laughs> Very nice, and then they get toggled back. Too easy. And uh, we'll just go around, see its max speed, and uh, we'll go, go ahead with the next design. Alright, time to test its max speed. I do believe there is a hill over there. Uh, let's just be cautious about that. And uh, while this thing is running, I'm just going to... Tell you guys what I'm going to do. The next time I get paid by YouTube, which should be like this month or next month, something like that, it will be enough for me to buy a, a better graphics card. And I want to get the Gigabyte GTX 660 Ti. Um, its price is roughly around 300 It is a lot of money. It is. And look at the speed that we are going. This is quite fast. It's very heavy too. Alright, we're going up a hill. Doesn't seem to affect this thing. Up. Oh, I spoke too soon. Super fast. <laughs> look at it just bouncing up and down. And of course, look at the lighting system. There got lights. He's got lights on the sides here as well. Oh, it was airborne for a second. So yeah, it looks like the max speed is about 110 meters per second. Pretty good. Not to mention we are going up a hill, so that might affect it, but just by a little bit. And yeah, that's that. That's pretty cool. Very good job. Let's check inside. Nothing, nothing fancy in here, right? <laughs> All right. Well, this is gonna go forever. You know what? The engines might actually explode. Might wait for that to happen. <laughs> Why not? Let's try and fly it. I'm holding down S. Hopefully the gumbo range will help us lift off. <laughs> I don't think we won't lift off like this. No way. It is it's virtually impossible. Oh, we're going 111 meters per second. Ah. Nice. Alright, the engine the engines won't overheat, but that's that for this design. Pretty cool. Looks very nice, and we are going to go ahead and try the next design, which is potato, uh, Potato's design. It is called Glitch Plane Org, so I'll be right back. So this is Glitch Plane, made by Potato, awesome name, and it is indeed what it says. It's a Glitch Plane, and it uses the, the bug or glitch, whatever you want to call it, that's been in the game for ages. And... That's what it is, essentially. Shaky shaky. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I'm gonna restart. That wasn't meant to happen. Yes. So, essentially, the wings just keep them flapping and flapping. Let's do it again. So, just flap it around a bit. Manually do it. Have. Come on. Flap, flap. There we go. Yeah, you can flap it around a little bit, turn on SAS, and then it will do its own thing. Let's retract the smoggy base, not that it matters. So already, we are going extremely fast. No fuel required. Um, I'm not too sure who really invented the, well, who invented the designs that started to use the, the wing glitch slash bug. Um, yeah. <laughs> but oh well. And we are all oh great. Here we go. Overheating time. 
Come on, do your thing. Do your thing. Okay, now it's just uncontrollable. That's the only problem with this thing. I'm just trying to turn it. Come on. Alright, it's done for. I'm, I'm ending this. Next design. This is called Solar Plane, made by Potato. And it is a solar plane. It has four ion engines, a whole bunch of solar panels. And essentially, you just turn on these, these engines. Always have them at full throttle. And it does go at a high speed, actually, if you know how to use it. So let's just see how fast it can go. Um, restart. <laughs> oh no. All right, so just don't fast, don't time warp your ship because it. If you have a look, it all goes down too too close to the ground. Be aware of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flap these wings around. Look at this. Flap these wings. It's almost just like using the, the wing glitch that we showed before. And that does increase the speed dramatically of your solar plane, solar powered plane. Come on. And now I've received, I've reached a maximum speed of around 100 meters per second with this design, which is very good, especially for solar powered. And we go. So we've got 70, 73. And turn it around a little bit. There we go. 100 meters per second. Nice. Pretty fast. And 120. 130. Yeah, it's like 140 or something. Pretty good. Let's just see. Turn it around. It's very easy to control. Super easy. And yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this one. It's simple, fun to fly around, energy efficient. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and land it, and then we will be off to the next design, which is GM-2 Raven. And they are by SuperEd32. Let's go ahead and land this thing. And so, as I said, I'm I am gonna upgrade my graphics card. We were going too fast. I blame it on the speed that we were going. Now, this is the final design by Super Air Thirty Two, and it is called GM Twelve Raven High Altitude Version. Now, he did submit two versions: High Altitude and Low Altitude Version. We are currently using the High Altitude Version, of course. That's the most fun one. And what I usually do, and I have tested this out a couple times, yeah, I've made it reach a maximum speed of just more than 1,200 meters per second. So pretty good. And it's not using any RAM air intakes, it's using the radial air intake. Let me double check. Yeah, four of them. Not too many, actually more than four. It's like eight or something. See here, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and these, what's this stuff in here? Man, it, it's pretty cool. It's very nice the way it looks. <laughs> but yeah, this is going. Uh, we are time warping, yeah. Times three. Let that do its thing. Alright, so let's just reposition this. Just to prepare for the higher altitude that we're about to enter. And there we go, re entry heat. Awesome. There we go. And we can see it from the inside capsule here. Controller from here. There we go. Zoom in. <laughs> just trolling. Um, yeah, so let's just test this thing's limit. And then that will be the end of the episode. 1,200 meters per second. Okay, that was a little bit dangerous what I just did there. Okay, that that there again. Uh the engine on the right is failing. It's gone. Unless we can yep, yeah, it's done for. So let's just press F3 and its maximum speed 
was 1,291 meters per second, which is pretty good. Yes, pretty good for a type of this design. Very nice. And it is just going to keep on doing this, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, so I'd like to thank all the subscribers that have submitted their designs. Uh, they include Potato, Super Ed32, and Conovus. I hope I have pronounced your names correctly. But, yep, that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.